All right, um, I have a uh, Amatrol basic hydraulic troubleshooting trainer, and this is how you would start this up from start to finish. First things first, you can remove a lockout tag out, turn on main power. You know, if you have the e stop in, it may not, it, it, you won't be able to do your outputs. Pull out the e stop, and this is going to boot up on your HMI. All right, a couple things you're going to need to enable outputs to start your pump, but also make sure before you start up that you have oil. Uh, the right hydraulic oil in there. Um, if you need to fill it, fill it through here. Um, there is a setup that you need to make sure that there is no faults. Um, so if I go around to the back side, you need to make sure this one is open, this one is open all the way, this one is open all the way, this one is closed, this one is closed, open, open, open closed and you can tell by the the this being all the way out and then this one down here is closed so make sure that these valves are in this this proper setup okay also make sure that th this is open a little bit for your pressure reducing valve the flow controls are open because remember flow controls adjust the speed there here's your flow valve here for your for your motor you can also play with this. All right, this is gonna give you an error saying PLC not active. So enable your outputs, okay? You might wanna hit reset faults, and then if you hit the home, you get to this page here. What I would do is go to system status and control. This is your main operator panel. We have manual and automatic, pressure on, pressure off. First things first, I would go to program selection. If you look closely, here's the different programs that you can do. You can either do a single cycle on compression, which is just with this one right here. You can do a, a, a program two is a single cycle of the press, which is this, this here. Single cycle of the pump, which is right here. And you can do a complete single cycle where this will press, will compress, then press, then run, and then release all of them. And then, Program five, six, seven, and eight is reciprocating. So basically, you know, go through the process each time. And so you can change that here by, by pressing, you know, by going to auto, hitting, you know, and changing that to one, between one and, seven, only one and seven. So let me go back and do that again. So if I'm on manual, I can't select anything. If I'm on auto, it will allow me to change that. So I'm gonna keep it on eight because it will reciprocate through, okay? So that's my user reference. If I hit back, I go back to the main status screen. All right, and then if I hit, if I start my pump, everything turns on. Okay, everything will turn on. I would make this is your main pressure setting. Everything should be good here. Hit reset. Hit reset, and then hit start, and you should notice pressure in the system. It will extend, and you. Get, this is number eight, press, and then in a second, the, the motor will turn on. And then retract, and everything, and then it'll repeat. And you can see everything right here. This will give you, this here pressure is based upon this sensor right here, so you can see pressure. It's in cycle, and then start and stop. So if you need to run it in manual, I'm gonna just let it get through and then I'm gonna stop it. So if I hit stop, you see how everything is in, in limbo? So I can hit reset and everything will go back to the way it was. Okay, if I wanna go to manual mode, I can flip over to manual, I can activate my pressure, okay? So that needs to be on. If I go to manual mode, I can go to the compression and I can Extend, so you can see extend or retract that cylinder. I can go to the, the, the press, which is the middle one, and I can extend and retract for testing purposes. And I can go to the motor or flywheel and just hit rotate and it'll turn on you can hear that. All right, but that's in manual mode. If I go to the status system, if I turn in auto, that's that. But Manual, I need to turn on the pressure first and before I step through it. But if I'm in auto, I hit reset. So, but then if I hit you know, start again, I can go from there. 
that is the basic operations that is helpful um, for you. So feel free to go to town. Thank you.